<laughs> I love you. As I'm sure many others would say, I love Lana Del Rey. She may even be my favorite female artist of the time. I loved her from when she first broke out into Hollywood and I never get sick of listening to her songs, ever. Oh, Lana, you're so gorgeous! <laughs> Born Elizabeth Woolridge Grant in 1985, the star is 34 at the time of this recording and obviously she goes by Lana these days. Critics have been harsh to Lana in the past and at times she was accused of being a fake, that she couldn't sing, you name it, they said it. People also said her father was a millionaire and that's why she's successful, when in reality she lived in a New Jersey trailer park at one point. Lana definitely achieved fame by her own means. <laughs> Quick question for you, would you ever go on a date with a fan, and if so, can I be that fan? <laughs> These days Lana is finally getting recognized for her talent and all of the albums she puts out are amazing, at least to me. Lana is a singer, songwriter, poet, model, and even music video director, and she has 15 million followers on Instagram at the moment. Lana has created a one-of-a-kind image that feels like a mix of 1960s glamour and tragedy, and what she even called a gangster Nancy Sinatra. I have an amazing voice, and I'm pretty sure a lot of things happen when you're taking a shower. What's your go-to shower song when you're singing? <laughs> yeah, Stella. Um, hmm, I guess Migos, Bad and Bougie. <laughs> Although we could go on and on about Lana and all of the reasons why she's so different and amazing, that's not what we're going to be doing today. Today it's all about her real estate, and let me tell you, the woman isn't living in a New Jersey trailer anymore. Lana's net worth these days is estimated between 14 to 18 million, which is definitely not modest. And of course, with that kind of money, the star lives in a pretty impressive estate. Lana's main mansion is actually two separate properties combined, but I'll show you guys in a little bit. And it's not the only house the star owns either. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're going to look at where Lana Del Rey calls home, including her main double Hollywood estate, her gorgeous cabin, as well as the house she used to live. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Selena Gomez and Ariana Grande and we'll have links to those at the end of this. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this video. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. Let's first see where Lana used to live. Back in 2015, the star was looking for some serious privacy and she opted for a beachfront home. Located on Las Tunas Beach in Malibu, Lana paid around $3 million for this place. The home was surrounded by water, rocks, and no neighbors, so it really helped her get the secluded feeling she wanted. This place was over 2,600 square feet and had three beds and four baths. There was also a really big covered patio that had beach views for days. Perfect for Lana considering she said she's happiest when she's going to the ocean. As you can see from photos, the place looked pretty basic when it was purchased, but Lana apparently did a whole remodel while she lived there. Not surprising because those before photos gave me total timeshare vibes. I couldn't picture Lana living there, that's for sure. Although Lana probably got enough privacy in this Malibu spot, she moved on from it and sold it on the down low last year. Since then, she's upgraded. Before we get into Lana's main estate, or estates I should say, let's see her cabin in Echo Park. The area of Echo Park is in central LA and not surprisingly surrounds the Echo Park Lake. People also say it's a bit of a hipster spot. Although her cabin may look a bit vintage from the outside, once you go inside, it's a different story. Lana apparently spent 1.2 mil on the bungalow style cabin, which was built way back in 1911, but since it's been renovated and redecorated, obviously. It was actually revamped and sold to Lana by Leanne Ford, who is a host on an HGTV show. There are two beds and one bath, which is definitely on the smaller side, but I'm sure she has enough space in her main mansion to be cool with that. In the living room area, there's a modern wood stove that's been placed inside the old fireplace, and the ceiling has exposed wood beams. Looking at this room in the kitchen, there's actually a lot of light, which I wouldn't have guessed from the outside of the home. The design in Lana's cabin has a theme that's mostly white, which also brightens everything up. The master bedroom is no different. There's a sitting area as well here, which leads you to outside, complete with a wraparound porch. Time to look at Lana's main estate. In 2016, the star purchased two separate houses on neighboring lots in the Hollywood Hills, which is where she calls home now. Purchasing two houses side by side seems like something celebrities like to do. You know, like Kylie Jenner and Katy Perry, for example. 
Lana's properties here were two separate transactions and combined they cost Lana around 5.8 mil. Together, they take up almost four acres located at the top of Coldwater Canyon between Beverly Hills and Studio City. Lana's first home in her private compound is the bigger playset of the two. She bought it for around 3.7 mil and it sits atop a long driveway with two acres of property. It's 5,432 square feet and has six beds and seven baths. The mansion was built in 1936, but has obviously been completely redone. And looking at photos, you can see that it's modern and spacious. The main room is an open concept and has 24 foot wood ceilings with exposed beams. Although this home has a lot of wood accents, it doesn't look dark or overdone. There are a ton of windows and doors, which makes it really bright. Lana's main house also features a four car garage, a gourmet chef's kitchen, two powder rooms, and an entryway with dual staircases. Not to mention the huge saltwater infinity pool outside, steam sauna, and of course, a detached guest house. Even looking at the exterior, the home has a very cool vibe to it and I could really see Lana living here. The second and smaller home on the property, Lana picked up for 2.1 million. It's located right behind the other house and sits on a smaller 1.9 acre lot. This ranch style house was also built in 1936 and has since been redone. It measures 2,829 square feet and has three beds and two baths. Even though this house is smaller and apparently wasn't as renovated and modern as the larger one, it still has its own guest house and is pretty spacious. Looking at the aerial view of Lana's properties, you can see that both of the estates have their own pools as well. Lana's compound in the hills has gorgeous views that stretch for miles and definitely looks like a dream. Thankfully, it's so high up in the hills that she's far away from the noisy street and traffic below. The peaceful property also seems like the perfect home for the star to get some songwriting done. So we've seen Lana's Malibu beach house, which she apparently sold last year, her vintage cabin in Echo Park, and her main mansions in the hills where she's created a compound for herself. Which ones did you guys like the best? We also know that Lana's real estate portfolio doesn't stop there. Aside from that bunch of homes, the star also apparently owns a $2.5 million English Tudor home in LA's Hancock Park area that she bought back in 2013. This neighborhood is also highly desirable and historic. That house is 4,762 square feet and was built way back when in 1925. Apparently, this house is where Lana got robbed back in 2015. A woman snuck into Lana's home for a few days while she was away, borrowed her house, and also took out two of Lana's cars for a joyride, getting them both impounded. Anyways, according to sources, Lana still owns this property as well. I'm not sure if Lana plans on adding any more purchases to her real estate portfolio in the near future, but she doesn't seem to be doing so bad considering she now has her property in the hills with not one, but two mansions. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what's next for the star. Okay guys, so now it's time for me to read out some comments from previous videos. These comments are from our recent video on Jeffree Star's celebrity feuds. Also, if you guys like that video, be sure to let me know if you want more like that. Maggie Nunez said, Kara, you look so cute as Alice in Wonderland. Love your channel. Keep up the good work. Love and respect. Maggie from Los Angeles, California. Happy Halloween. Thanks, Maggie. Now, it's clearly not Halloween, but when we did that video, it was. I'm glad you like my costume and the channel. Sending love and respect back. RM said, you look adorbs girl, have fun down that rabbit hole. Jeffrey's a hoot. I'm a new subscriber of you both and you darlings entertain. Thanks RM, I always love a new subscriber and glad you like my costume too. I also think Jeffrey's a hoot, I love his sass. And finally, our boy Skittles boy said, Skittle boys in the comments, much love from Skittles nation, good vibes only, fame gang. Shout out to Kara, always fashionable, happy Halloween. And Jeffrey star, he cool. Thanks Skittles, you know we always love hearing from you. All right guys, that's all I could find on Lana Del Rey's homes. Which was your favorite property of hers? Her previous Malibu beach house, her cabin in Echo Park, or her property in the hills where she has two mansions combined? I'm gonna have to say I loved her main house the best. Let me know down in the comments. If you guys like Lana, let me know what other videos of her you'd like to see, and let me know some other celebrity homes you want me to do a tour on. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you next week with some new videos. Bye!